Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to add more RAM to Minecraft 1.14.3. This also shows you how to add more RAM in the new Minecraft launcher because with 1.14.3 the new Minecraft launcher came out. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a double whammy, this one is. So we're going to be going through all of it. But first and foremost, we have a mention of our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. Even if you have a bad computer, if you can put on a server like play.breakdowncraft.com, which is our own server. Information on that is in the description as well. But if you can play on any other Minecraft server, you'll be able to play on an Apex Minecraft server, even if your computer is bad, because they host the server on their own hardware. You don't have to worry about it at all. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server on them, play.breakdowncraft.com. So if you want to start an incredible 24-hour Minecraft server for you and your friends, check out Apex Minecraft hosting at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. The first thing we want to do is is actually click on the uh, Windows icon. It's in the top left for me. It's probably in the bottom left of your screen, but that little Windows icon up here in the top left for me. Again, bottom left for you. Once you click on that, you want to type in System Information. Right there it is, System Information. Click on that, and then it opens up this. And there's a lot here, but there's two main things that we want from this. The first is going to be our system type. Now system type is right here and there's x64 based and x32 or specifically x86 based. And that's whether or not you have a 32-bit or a 64-bit system. Most likely you have x64. 32-bit systems are kind of a way of the past at this point. Nobody is selling new computers with 32-bit systems. So most likely you have x64 based PC there. If you don't, no worries, you'll still be able to follow this tutorial, but x64 is what you want and uh, what you have right there. But if you don't have it, it's not the end of the world. But yeah, so you wanna make sure you got x64 system type there. And then we also wanna come down here to where it says installed physical memory. See that installed physical memory? And for me, that is 32 gigabytes. That is basically how much RAM your computer has is the memory on your computer. RAM is random access memory. That's why it's installed physical memory. As you can see, we have 32 gigabytes there. You may have 16, you may have 12, you may have eight, you may have four. Whatever your wish says, that's fine, but you're going to need to know it because you can't add more than, let's say about half of that to Minecraft, right? So for me, I can add about 16 gigs to Minecraft maximum. If you have eight gigs of RAM, you could add about a maximum of four gigabytes of RAM. And if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, half of 16 is eight, and that's how much you could add to Minecraft. Minecraft. So that's why it's important we look at that. Now that we've got that though, we can open up the Minecraft launcher. I mean, it really is that simple at this point. We can open up the Minecraft launcher and once we're here, we want to click on installations. Now you can do a few things here. You can go down and select any of these existing installations. Let's say we wanted to do my 112.2 profile here by clicking these three lines and then clicking edit, right? However, you can also create a new profile if you want. So let's go ahead and do that. Create a new profile by clicking the plus button up here at the top of the screen. Now you can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I doing that? Because that is our own Minecraft network server. We've got survival with player-based economy. We've got a survival with a server-based economy and we have custom Skyblock that you will absolutely love. Over 300 players online every single week. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Just type that into Minecraft. We'll actually be joining it here in a bit. But nevertheless, play.breakdowncraft.com. You can name it whatever you want. Version, doesn't matter what you select version-wise. We'll just leave it latest release. Now, to change your RAM, what do you do? Well, you click on more options right here. And when you click on more options, you'll have this, JVM arguments. And this first thing, XMX2G needs to be changed. That's what your RAM is. Right now, XMX2G means XMX two gigabytes. Two gigabytes of RAM is dedicated to Minecraft. If you wanted to add more, let's say you had four gigabytes you wanted to add, you can go ahead and change that to four. Now again, if you're adding four gigabytes of RAM to Minecraft, you better have at least eight gigabytes of total memory on your computer. Same thing goes if you wanted to add eight gigabytes, you better have at least 16 gigabytes of total memory on your computer to add eight gigabytes. The truth of the matter is though, unless you're running SevTech or a really intense mod pack, you'll never need eight gigabytes of RAM in Minecraft. Vanilla should be able to run no problem off of really two gigabytes, but at the most, four gigabytes of RAM is all you should have to dedicate to vanilla Minecraft. We're gonna go a bit overkill for this video on me though. I'm gonna go eight gigabytes there just cause why not? Let's go ahead and then click create. And at this point, we can go ahead and click play right here on the versions tab on the play.breakdowncraft.com profile and it'll open on up. Now, if you do have issues when you're adding RAM, right? If you have 32 bit system, right? If you have that 32 bit system, 
it is going to air out. It's not going to work if you add more than four gigs of RAM. That's because 32 based operating systems can only really have four gigabytes of total RAM. So you should probably be adding two maximum to Minecraft. Additionally, if you're still having issues, we do have a solution and that is downloading the Java development kit here. And this is linked in the description. And this is our in-depth guide on downloading the Java development kit. So you can actually go and fix your RAM and all that stuff. That's most likely what it is. You don't have the correct version of Java in order to run the RAM that you're uh, required. For example, you might even have the 32-bit Java on a 64-bit PC, which can cause all kinds of issues and downloading this and doing that will fix it. But now we're in Minecraft here and I'm gonna jump on to the best server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. As we can see, 218 people on right now. We can join right on in and we'll check our RAM by hitting F3. That's basically what we'll do. So we can go to spawn real quick. The beautiful Breakdowncraft medieval survival spawn there. And we can go ahead and check our RAM by hitting F3 and we'll be able to see our RAM right up here. As we can see, eight, 1192 megabytes also known as eight gigabytes of ram dedicated to minecraft but we're not using any may like we're using at max it looks like about a gig of ram so yeah we're pretty good there but nevertheless there you have it if you have any questions about adding ram to minecraft let us know in the comment section down below and give this video a thumbs up and be sure to come join us on the best minecraft server in the multiverse play.breakdowncraft.com absolutely incredible 220 players online now medieval survival player based survival economy We've also got Aquatic Survival, as you can see on the player list there, down there in the bottom, Survival. That is a server-based economy. And then we do have Skyblock with an awesome, awesome, awesome player base over there, constantly online, constantly just growing and just being awesome. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP, and I can't wait to see you online. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.